Well, hey, everybody, Cindy Williams here, the travel career coach. I am here with Cindy Anderson from Blue Shore Vacation. Cindy, how are you this morning? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm so good. So I'm so excited, first of all, because you just graduated our Careers on Vacation Mastermind, and it has been quite a journey, has it not? Yep, it sure has, for real. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing kind of your story this morning. Um, and let's just start by share with the audience where you were before taking the mastermind and where your business is now. Sure. So I've been a travel agent for over eight years. A lot of that was an at-home agent for different uh, agencies. And then I was in a brick and mortar for a little while. Uh, never really I wanted to be more, I wanted to be just me, and I finally broke free in the spring, and my husband and I started Blue Shore Vacations in March. So uh, we're a brand new baby business, just kicking off, and it's been really, really exciting to get the marketing managed and accomplished and known. Yeah, for sure, and kudos to you for taking that leap of coming out from the umbrella of working for other people and saying, you know what, I'm going to kind of do our own thing and we can do it. And you did. Yes. Yes. So, so that whole piece about um, where the commissions are going and how much of it was huge to us when we like spelled it out on paper and we looked at the numbers, we just, it makes so much more sense to do it just us. And um, so that's going forward. That's what we're doing. Absolutely. And that's when we kind of connected, which was amazing. Yes. So tell me a little bit about what's your biggest win or celebration that you've had since starting the program? <laughs> that hands down, it's the technology win. Yeah. Uh, that just the struggle with understanding all the different facets of what you can uh, leverage and how to do it. Google was a beast. I, I I know there's no phone number. You can't call them. <laughs> so true. It's hard. And, but I, and normally I would just say to my husband, Oh, will you just fix this for me? Cause I, I just don't have time. I have so many other things to do. And I didn't do that. I took it. I did it. I conquered it. And I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of myself that I did that. And I'm glad that I did. Yeah. And it's so empowering, right? Cause yeah. now you know how to do it. Your yeah. business is set up. It's automated. And I like the answer to your first question because it's kind of like, yeah, on paper, it made so much sense for us to have our own agency, but then you get down to the nuts and bolts and that's where people get stuck. Yep. And they're like, oh, what do, I, how do, what do I do with the tech or the automation or the process? And so to be able to have that, well, I'm glad that's a win for you. I know that having your life automated and the things together, like it takes a lot of work in the program to do it. Like it's not an e like it's not easy owning your own business, let's face it, right? But ha it's much easier having a roadmap, right? <laughs> right? Right, I don't feel blind anymore. Yeah. That's what I don't, I don't have it all mastered. I'm still learning. I'm still going back and re-watching the videos because what I understood in the beginning was a little bit and then as we went now i go back and i watch those and oh i now i get other things out of it at a higher level so it that's really amazing too to have all of that whenever i want it whenever i need it yeah and i love that and that's why we did the program the way that we did so you would have that to keep forever because when your you know business has no employees and then all of a sudden you you know, snap your fingers like some of our clients and then they have 20 employees. They're like, let me go back and watch that information about recruiting. <laughs> so as you evolve your business, no matter what stage you're in, I think having those tools, because look, we, we have your marketing plan together for this year, but when you go through that process each quarter and on an annual basis for your planning, now you can go back to those resources because you know you have kind of that roadmap, right, to refer to. So good. So I have a question. A lot of people don't realize with our program, you get this whole mindset piece that just comes for free. <laughs> it's like you're going to get it whether you like it or not, because it's who I am. So talk to me about what the mindset work in the program meant to you or did it mean anything to you or what was the impact for you working through the exercises and things we train you on how to think like a CEO and think like an entrepreneur. How did that help you if it did? So if you... If you just start your day and, and just go forward, I, or at least it is for me, I feel like I'm just like, like swimming in a river and I'm kind of up to here in my day. And sometimes the river is up here and 
I don't hardly ever get a, on top of it. Yeah. So when I start my day with the different mindset things that you've set up, um, and then some added things that I know that are also good for me, then I feel like I'm starting my day like standing on top of a yacht in charge of everything. <laughs> right, you're running your own ship. Instead of down here, I'm like, I am up here and maybe everything doesn't always go perfect, but I don't lose focus. Yeah. I don't lose track of my uh, small goals all the way to my long-term goals. Like it just every day, bring it right back to the why and the how, and, and then you're, you just, I don't know, I can, I feel like I can manage it better. Yeah, you're, you're putting on the captain's hat, but having that, I think the clarity on what your end game is, the clarity of exactly what you want to get from this business, and then parsing it down to on a daily basis, what does that mean? How am I setting my intention for today? What are the goals and things that I'm doing this week? Right down to the tracker that we give you, right? The, what am I doing this week that's going to move my business forward or bring abundance into my business? Because as you put all of these little pieces together, then the whole puzzle kind of comes together and creates your grand vision, which is awesome. Right. I like I like the little visual of you with a captain's hat on. I think we should make that happen in our next photo shoot. All right, we can go with that. <laughs> I love it. So, and when you started, we had, when you and I originally talked, we had lots of conversations. We even talked to your husband. Yeah. And look, I talk to husbands all the time. No problem talking to husbands. I love husbands. What I love is like when they're worried and then I, like I'm their superhero by the end. That's my favorite. But um, as we had that conversation, was it easy for you to jump into making the decision to do the mastermind or what, you know, what was that process like for you? Yeah, it was easy for me because I knew that these are things that I did not know. My education back, I'm an educate. I'm an elementary education major. I was a teacher before we had kids. And then I've done various other things. Most recently, I was a travel agent on my own with the brick and mortar, at, like I said. And But I never had to be responsible for the marketing. I never had to pay out my own money. Wh which way is the best way? And how much is a good amount? And to be intentional about what you're doing and how you manage that. I, there is no way I could have guessed even close to what works. Yeah. No way. No, way. I have no idea. No marketing in my background. <laughs> and I love that because especially coming from an education background, it's, it's the things that people don't even know to ask mm -hmm. that you kind of find out through the process because being a great travel agent is one thing. Being a great business owner is a completely different hat. So how you do finances, payroll, recruiting, marketing, Closing sales, processes, automation. There's a lot of pieces to running a successful, any business, but especially travel business because our job's super detailed. I, I think somewhere in a video last week, I, I said, look, when you, you guys know when someone calls you and they're like, I've never been to Disney before, or I went 20 years ago. You already know in the back of your head, like I know in the back of my head, what you need to make your travel business be successful. You guys know, okay, I got to tell them about Magic Band. I got to tell them the best type of dining for their age group. I have to tell them which resort based on their needs. I have to tell them how the Magic Express works, you know, how they put the tags on the luggage. You know all the things to tell them. They don't know half the time to ask those questions. So in with Careers on Vacation, that's why we had such a, you know, uh, an approach where we kind of wanted to detail everything out. So it is a lot. Like you said, there, I'm still going through some of the information. I think it's valuable to give you more rather than less, but as you cross bridges in your business to be able to go, wow, I didn't even think about that or, oh, monetizing. That's another huge one. People are like, oh, I didn't even think about, you run the numbers and it's like, oh my gosh, if I would have done this last year, I would have made this much more. Ah, blows their mind, right? <laughs> you said at one point uh, in one of the, our, less, our meetings that, Whatever it is that you don't like or whatever it is that you hate to do, hire that out. Yes. And I think the same is true of the things that are not your strength. Mm -hmm. So we all have our strengths. My strength is educating my clients before they go on their vacation so that they have a fabulous time. I don't want them to walk in and don't even have the app downloaded. They'd be standing on Main Street, you know, burning daylight trying to understand that app. I don't want that for them. But yeah. I don't know. So in my case, I don't, I'm not a marketing expert. So that's why I paired up with you. Yeah, <clears throat> that makes so much sense. And whatever it is in your business, it's no, as a business owner, your job is not 
ever to know every single answer or to be able to even figure out every single answer. Your job is to know how to assess the health of your business through real data, right? And then if you know, oh, I don't have enough leads because I know my marketing is not working, your job is really to know where to get the resources so you can make a decision and move your business forward. And <clears throat> I think in this journey where we get stuck a lot is we, look, we work with a lot of women. It is what it is. And it's, it's kind of like, oh, do I invest in myself? It becomes an emotional decision when it should be a business decision. Like, look, do you want to make, you want to get more leads? Like if you, if you can close sales, all you have to do is pull the lever and get more leads, fix your marketing. Right. <clears throat> but it's like, oh, do I do this? Or do so what would you tell people that are sitting on the fence about careers on vacation? Maybe they've been scoping out in the shadows and they're watching success story after success story. And it's like, how many will it take before you pick up the phone and go, I want to get in on this. What's going on? What do you, what would you tell that person about making that decision? Don't wait. Don't, don't wait. A year from now, my business is going to be in a million times healthier, better, stronger shape than without this program. Careers on vacation changed everything for me. And I don't have it all mastered. I don't have to have it all mastered. I'm mastering it one section at a time as I go. But I, like I said, I would could never have guessed what I needed, could never have guessed the way to do what I needed. Uh, don't wait. Just don't. Yep. And now you have the tool, you have like a great big toolbox and you yep. can pull out everything you need. And this is not like one of those weird programs you buy online, right? And you're like, oh, let me spend a whatever. And then no yep. one's there to help you. Right. So you get that, you know, some people, I guess we don't talk a lot, I guess, about what's included in the Cruise on Vacation program, but it's not just modules. It's not just online training, but you get, you have access to me twice a week for two mm -hmm. hours to go, Cindy, look at this. I have questions. Let's do, you know, so it's one of those things where it's very intensive through the program, but now like you're, you're graduated, you graduated a few weeks ago and I've seen, you've asked a couple questions in the grad group already. And are you getting responses? Are you getting help? Yeah. Oh my gosh. The grad group is great. It's so you're now, now I'm never, I was so alone before and <laughs> isolated and I had no one to ask questions. No one. And then now I have this whole group of amazing women and agency owners and it's great. It's great. It's amazing community and we're all there to help each other. You guys know my message has always been, there is enough abundance for everybody. Like I was in Disney, I just came back a few days ago, but the thousands of people walking through the yeah. gate in the morning, there's enough for all of us to book 10 of those vacations a day, right? And then we all have way over six figure businesses. So there's enough abundance for everyone. We can all support each other. And that's why we, you know, we have people apply for the program and make sure, are, do you feel like you're ready? Are you ready? Let's, you know, and if you are, you get to become part of this great community that we support each other, where, whether you're in year one or we have people in year 10, it doesn't matter because everyone's at a different place in their journey. But as long as you're getting what you need to drive your business forward, I think that that's really key. So last question is kind of redundant, but would you recommend the program to others? Um, yeah, five stars. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I love it. Well, Cindy, yeah, for you, sure. you've been so amazing and your branding turned out beautiful as a process. We actually redid your branding in the program. Yeah. that was part of your custom, um, you know, that we worked on, not just in our private calls, but in our mastermind, we had that chance to kind of show everyone your logos and decide what you wanted. So we're going to put your info below so people can follow you. Follow Cindy. She's amazing at Blue Shore Vacations. And we're going to splice in a cool picture of your logo like here or here or somewhere in the magical <laughs> editing process. Um, but look, I'm wishing you so much love and success. And I think you're, you're planning on a retreat in the future. Did I hear oh, that correctly? 100%. Yeah. <laughs> we just, uh, you know what? We just announced the this, this video is actually not coming out until next week. So we just announced it in the grad group. The grad group gets about a week and we've actually, we already sold the first five slots of the retreat at the last retreat. People are like, can I sign up for the next one? So yeah. we have plenty of spots for the grads. Don't worry. And then we'll open it up to everyone else. But it's been such a pleasure to work with you and your husband. And I'm so excited to see where you guys go in the future. I'm so excited for your journey. We are too. And we just thank you for all of your knowledge and the way that you share and um, just empowering everybody around you. We were strangers on the internet four months ago, you know, and then here we are. Oh, I'm just, it's just, it's great. Thank you. 
I love when people almost cry. That's my favorite. <laughs> no, but that's so true. And you know, it's, I love building relationships with my clients. You guys see a lot of you guys watch Cindy and it's like this big personality, but really when I, that's why we only like have eight to 10 in the program. Cause I want to have that personal relationship to go, what does Cindy and her husband need? What does the next client need? What does the next client need? So we are only focusing on a handful of businesses each month to get you guys where you want to go. And it does feel like an amazing friendship at the end. We are friends and we're, we have so much in common. Like our name is, we're both Cindy's, <laughs> yep. right? That's we both right. love Disney. So much great stuff. Well, Cindy, anything you need, just let us know in the future. We'll see you over in the grad group. I love you. Send your husband my love. And uh, I mean, you're opening a branch office next year, too. We forgot to even mention that, but we'll be watching when that comes up. When that That's happens. right. Thank you so much for sharing today, Cindy. We'll see you Thank soon. Thank you. Bye.